I was gonna wait and put like a textured wall up here, um, something that you can just like either stick or just nail down like a simple like thin piece of wood, but I can't find any textured walls that I like. I was out chopping pretty much all morning, uh, going to various stores looking for anything that would uh, protrude from the wall and have some texture to it. I was looking at, uh, hope, or I was hoping to find something like concrete uh, like in color and maybe in texture, but I couldn't find anything. I did find a lot of brick options, but I didn't, again, I didn't want to do brick because a lot of other YouTubers do that. And so because I'm impatient, I figure I'll just deal with it later. And what that means is that we'll just go ahead and um, start putting up these panels um, along the wall. Now I am going to put the panels uh, from this corner as far down as they'll go. If it's not far enough down, we may pick up some more in the future. And then I'm just going to decorate. Um, these panels or pegboards, whatever you want to call them, um, with some shelves and other things. And we'll put trinkets and all sorts of stuff or tools that I actually use uh, when building uh, PCs for some of you guys, as well as like for the house or some of uh, my neighbors or other people. Um, so yeah, I don't know, let's go ahead and get started. So first we gotta get in this corner and uh, I'm gonna just move this. Thankfully the cables are long enough and I don't have to worry about um, anything being unplugged from my desk. I need some tools. Ah, oh, gosh. All right, I got a little level here. And we're basically going to just shove this into the corner, maybe like about at this height. Oh, wow. This wall is totally sticking out. There's like a little bulge right here so I can't even sit it flush against the wall. That kind of sucks. Anyway, so I guess we'll do it about this height. Um, yeah, that looks good. We'll do it about this height and we'll just go all the way down. See if this is even level. Not even close. Sweet. I do want to give it some height because I don't want to impact anything on my desk and if I decide to raise and lower it, um, I'll have some extra space as it goes up and down. Actually, maybe we'll lower this a little bit. Yeah, we're going to lower it a little bit. And we're going to go with however tall this is. All right, no going back from here because we're going to use a permanent marker to mark all the holes that we need on the drywall because yes I am an insane person oops and I suppose we will wow how am I gonna get all of them next to each other should I hmm try something real quick Ooh, slippery. <sighs> this doesn't seem like a very good idea, but we just need to like get a rough idea of where these, um, are gonna be. Let's get a drill. We got the first set of holes drilled and uh, looks like this one's like hella misaligned. I think that'll be all right though. And uh, let's get these first couple up. Okay, I'm gonna start with this side here and hammer in a um, wall anchor because they're wait a minute actually no i don't need a wall anchor uh, because there's actually um wow what is it called a stud back here so i don't actually need a wall anchor i will on the one next to it though all right we're gonna go ahead and just screw the first one in and since it's on a stud 
we're just we don't need the watt anchors that are included with this uh, kit do one more realignment just to make sure this is nice and straight thankfully these screws are magnetic so a little hang on And the next one. Oh, I did not mean to do that. All right, I made a bit of a mistake. I probably should have uh, put my wall anchor anchors in first <laughs> uh, before, uh, I guess, putting this up because now it's gonna be harder to hammer in. Uh, but not a big deal. We'll, we'll figure it out. Jeez. Time to get the uh, SPX Labs canvas out of the way. Reveal a lot more markings on the wall. Uh, let's get this like far out of the way. Somewhere we won't get damaged or dirty at all. I realized I just said that I was gonna wait um, to make holes or and or measure things out before putting these other panels up. But honestly, I think it, well, it was fine getting the wall anchors in there. And uh, so I'm just gonna continue on just putting one up and then cutting and measuring as necessary. And now I have lost my measuring, or not measuring, my uh, leveling tool. All right, we got six more holes made, or not holes, uh, we got six more points drawn, so time to make some holes. So what's really cool about these panels already is like the insides, or I guess the inside, um, are all gonna be in a stud. And then the next one over is gonna be, uh, is gonna need a wall anchor and then stud and then wall anchor and then stud. So that's pretty neat how that worked out. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Oh, all right, two more to go, I think. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna need some more panels. Yeah, I think we're going to do more panels. All right, how's that looking so far? We just need to clean up a little bit in vacuum because there is um, drywall dust all over the place and all over these things. But we'll do that a little bit more. Uh, I feel like I may need one to two more panels over there. I, I really don't know. Uh, I'm gonna start putting some of the stuff on the wall and see how it looks and then maybe I'll add more panels or get more panels later. We have so many accessories to go through uh, to put on the, the wall. We have shelves, uh, a bins, a bunch of hooks of all sorts. So we're gonna have to go through all that and uh, I don't know, see what works where and how what works where, if that makes sense. And yeah, we didn't use all these because I have a lot of studs that I was able to drill into, but anyway.
well, it's been a couple days and of course I'm impatient as can be. So during those couple of days of waiting for the additional hardware to come in, I've just went ahead and sort of already got this laid out in one manner. Uh, I'm not sure if this will stay like this forever. Uh, I'll probably move some things around like the scratch card up to a different shelf or maybe these books in that corner like I said earlier. Uh, this is what we're looking at so far. So let's get these panels up. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but we are gonna put two more panels up. I don't think we can fit a third. I have three, as you may have noticed. So the other one we will just not use more than likely or we'll find something else to do with it. But for now, I think just filling out the rest of this wall as much as possible will look best. It looks like we can fit exactly one more in this corner, but I'm not sure if I should stick one more in this corner. Um, because we wouldn't really be able to hang anything here because the door opens and will block almost all of that. Um, and the door is actually gonna block this almost this entire panel too. So uh, we might be able to like hang some clothes. Oh wow, good job me. We may be able to hang some clothes in here. Uh, like on this side, like a couple of shirts, maybe a hoodie or something behind the door. Cause when the door is closed, um, you guys will see, you know, just a little bit of this and it'll be completely uh, open. Actually, let's put the camera up about about where it normally goes and see how much of this we can actually see. All right, so the camera's gonna sit something about like that. Um, and from what I saw without like really perfecting the uh, angle and stuff. So right now the camera actually looks a little like this when it should be flat, but that doesn't matter. So without touching any of that stuff and just setting the camera there, we can actually see a good portion of this wall. So I think it looks good on camera to leave open. Uh, and I think it would also look fine with the panel against or in that corner just to really fill it in. But I'm afraid that, you know, by putting a panel there, it'll look very empty, I guess, unless we actually hang something there or put something there. Uh, oh, one, I got an idea. Maybe we put that panel up and since I don't know what to do with this anymore, I can just stick this all the way in the corner like this. And then we can hang this off the panel. And I wanna know what that looks like, cause I can't see. Oh God. Cause I can't see uh, what that would look like. I bet that would look great. Maybe we should do that. Let's uh, gotta take a look at this footage real quick. All right, I think uh, the sign over there actually looks pretty good. Um, we could probably do a lot more with that space. Uh, I could move this over a little bit more, I think, and it may be just slightly out of frame. I'm not sure. I guess it depends on like exactly where I get the camera set up. Um, but I think as is, it's pretty good. And we'll fill in everything else over here. And we may put some trinkets underneath the sign as well. I have no idea what. All of the stuff is bound to change. Um, so yeah, who knows? I might put some cables actually over here because I think that would be better, I, I don't know, we'll see. And um, everything's liable to change, like, like nothing's set in stone. Um, I just kind of set it where I think I might need things, like, oh, I'm working on a server, turn around, boom, got myself a screwdriver, which I could just pull out from the drawer in front of me now, now that this is here, but I don't know, maybe I'll even put this back behind me. I don't know, the options are pretty much limitless now that this is over or the desk is over in the corner and like really out of the way. Um, so, wow, I guess from here, I'm not really sure what else to show you guys. Uh, I did learn a couple of things actually about my wall. So that wall in that corner is bowed out about a good, um, it doesn't, you can't really tell on camera, but it's bowed out maybe like half an inch. Uh, this wall is very wavy. It's not perfectly flat, which happens. It's not, I mean, that's just the way of construction, I guess. It's a lot more wavy than I thought. And also it seems like some of the two by fours that are actually in this wall are not perfectly straight either, or maybe this is misaligned slightly. But when I was drilling some of the holes in, um, I would hit the two by four and it would push the drill um, slightly off to the right. So that's a thing. And also I think on this one, one of these over here, uh, the board is so badly bent that I actually got in the two by four in two spots. And then in one spot I, there was no two, no two by four at all. So it's either really wavy or something. I don't know. 
Anyway, so a lot, a lot learned. And also these things aren't perfectly flat themselves. Um, right around where the screw hole is, which is about the midpoint, um, so you might be bowed out a little bit as well, bowed out a little bit as well. So that kind of throws off the level. So um, I did thankfully check on most of these, the tops and bottoms to make sure that they were level because they seem to be a lot more consistently uh, flat or perfectly flat on the tops and bottoms and on the sides. But other than that, I, this thing, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, it's actually kind of nice, like having a lot of my stuff that I would use pretty regularly on the shelf or on this uh, pegboard, steel pegboard. Um, normally all this is just like somewhat neatly packed away and just a single cabinet. Uh, but I could get used to this. And like I, when I was gaming on here the other night, I, you know, I felt, felt really cool. Actually, maybe I can give you guys an idea. All right, so I'd walk in the room, lights are already on, you know, all this stuff's here. Pull out that chair and then just sit down and bam. I am like ready to game. Got my headsets here, controller, got some more controllers. Like everything is just right here where I need it. And that is like perfect. It feels really cool. I gotta fix the curtain though. It's a little messed up, but anyway, just so I give you guys a small idea. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I could tell this is gonna take a while to really figure out where I want things to go. Um, so I'm gonna play it with all that off camera. I did move my FAP station to be a little bit closer to myself. Uh, so you know, the essentials for uh, FAP station are all closer and uh, much easier to reach. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. All right, well, with all that being said, I guess we're just gonna end the video here. I'll leave links in the video description below for these things if you're interested. If not, you know, whatever. Um, still looking for ideas of what to do to the actual wall itself. I got some pretty good advice from other people in the previous video. Um, and with all that being said, I want to thank you guys all for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.